Hello, I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you on the Bare Essentials Tutorials Rocker Eye. Um, I've done this look a few times, mostly as the hard rock look, but today I'm going to try to do more something every day you could wear to work look. Um, entirely forgive my face, I have absolutely no makeup on and I'm just going to do mostly the eyes today. So um, here is a picture of what I'm going to use. And let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is use the Bare Essentials Primetime Eye. And I, I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but once I use it once, I find every time I reopen it, there's a little bit sticking out. So I'm just going to use that plus a little bit more. I like to put it on my finger and apply it to my eye that way. Just rubbing all over the eyelid. Make sure you go up and onto the brow bone. Just like that. Same for the other eye. Just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to use, sad I have to look, Opal, it's Glimmer, and I'm just going to use my Full Taper Shadow Brush, and I like to dip mine in, I don't, I keep my um, sifters on, I used to take them off, but now I keep them on, and I always get the little bit that's left in the lid, and I like to use this, um, I don't always shake it into the cap, I think that just makes a mess, so I'm just going to dip a little bit on, tap it off, so I just have a little bit there, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my brow bone. Yes, it goes on very white, but I like that. Kind of sweep it all over here. And I'm going to also apply a little bit on my inner corners. This typically just brightens the eye up. Okay, now we are going to use our 1980s, that's what I thought it was. And I'm going to use the rock and roll brush that came with this kit. And I just, again, there's a little bit in the lid here, so I'm just going to dip it in. Tap off my excess, and there is a good amount on here, which is what I want. And this we're going to just pat directly onto the eyelid itself. And blend it just a little bit there. Go ahead and blend it up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're going to do that on the other eye as well. Q-tip handy is good for fallout. We're just going to blend that into the opal there. Okay, wipe my brush off a little bit. Now we're going to use Rockstar. I absolutely love the sparkle in this color. Um, you can apply it too dark, so be very careful with it. I'm going to dip my brush in like this. Shake that around a little bit so I don't get too much. And this way I can use it in my crease. Tap. Always. And just kind of pat that in there for right now. Doesn't look too pretty. <laughs> but it will. Shake that off a little bit and then we're just going to brush it on that outer third right there. Wipe my brush off a little bit because, wow, I got a lot on there. <laughs> and just kind of blend this in and blend this up. Just so we don't have any harsh lines. Now if you find a different brush works better for you for blending, do that. I actually do like to use the full tapered brush for blending. You have quite a bit of fallout on my cheeks, so that's one good reason to wait to do your foundation or anything like that after, especially when working with very glittery colors. And just do the same on the other eye.
Okay, now we're going to use our black leather liner shadow with the pointy end of the rock and roll brush. Um, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite liner brushes, even though, so I don't miss, not use the rest of my liner brushes. I do, still do use them, but so we're just going to get a little bit on the tip like that and tap it off. Do a very, very light line. If you do this too dark, it will be very dramatic, and I don't think you want that at work. I like to start and just do little short strokes right up to the lash line. Just like that. It's not a very big, you know, not very dramatic, but that's how we want it. So do it just a little bit more for our bottom lash line. When I do this, I go and tuck the brush up underneath my bottom lashes. Um, some people go right on top of them. I, I think they get in the way. So I just tuck my brush right up under there. Just drag a soft line. And usually my bottom line, I do not redip my brush. I like to just go all the way over to my lashes, not quite to the inner corner. And repeat for the other eye. And there we are. Um, I'm going to add mascara to this. And I'm going to go ahead and do it. I might fast forward to this so you're not very bored, but I'm going to use my eyelash curler. I like to use it before my mascara. Some people like to do it after. I don't like it to get all gunky. So. I'm going to use my Bare Essentials Big Tees. If you have any lashes that you are a little clumped together and you don't like, just use a lash comb and run that back through and you're all done. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, any comments or, or questions, uh, please leave them down below in the comment box. So I don't know if that'll zoom in or you can see that or whatever, but I think it's a very subtle look for work. I would definitely wear it to work, but um, if you're a little older, you might be a little afraid, but give it a try. I think you'll like it. Thanks.